Hello, um, yes, welcome back to another video and yes, this time I will be speaking because um, yes, I just thought that maybe I can give a detailed review of, of the <laughs> new makeup palette that I bought. So, well, it's very accurate because I have to give detailed review for detail makeover. So I just bought, um, this one. So, this is my first time to review a palette. So forgive me if I'm not very good at it. So... Okay, here it goes. So for today, I decided to make um, a 1960s inspired makeup look because as you all know, I really love vintage stuff, especially in style, especially in the 60s. Well, I also like the 50s, but I feel like I'm more, you know, comfortable in the 60s. So I okay, feel let's get into it. Okay, so first off, of course, uh, yes, as you can see, I cut my hair and we have a new background. Uh, so I fixed the bed, I fixed everything, I bought new makeup. So everything is new. February. <laughs> so we must start off fresh. Let's do moisturizer first. So I won't put any primer anymore because it's... It's actually midnight already, and other than that, I don't know, maybe I, I can make another video. So, okay. So, moisturizer first, and then we will continue with the foundation. I'll just make this real fast because uh, yeah, someone is waiting for me, so I'm really sorry about that. So, now I'll we'll just put some foundation and yes this is Maybelline matte poreless um okay normal to oily I don't know what shade um uh warm nude so yes that's my shade and okay I'll just put it in my face like that make some dots I don't know like I just like it it's more um uh, I don't know, artistic. Because I really hate my bangs right now. Like, I cut it myself, and uh, as you can see, I got it straightened up. Uh, I got it treated. It's called Brazilian? Brazilian? Rebind? Like, I don't know. Like, they told me it's different from rebinding. So, I actually asked for, uh, for an advice. Like, what, what kind of treatment should I uh, should I get because my hair is falling out like really intensely intensely yeah like I'm so lucky that I got thick hair because if I don't I'll be bald right now so it's because of my hormonal problems that's why I got a lot of hair fall so I I'm so sick of my hair actually so I just uh, cut it a bit short and you know just put some treatment in it and I'm not really planning to have a rebond because I, I I feel like those chemicals will ruin my hair more so I asked for an advice and they said oh you should have the Brazilian thingy it's not the wax though Brazilian I don't know what kind of Brazilian is it but yeah it's just it's like we're bonding basically, but maybe different chemicals. <laughs> okay, we are finally done with the foundation. So, um, I think, yes, I'm not really a fan of, you know, Hollywood 60s or whatever. I'm more into the French New Wave. So, for my last video, I did uh, minimal makeup from yeah from yeah inspired by French New Wave so it's just uh green eyeshadow and winged eyeliner that's just it like there's no highlighter before no it's not a thing before that's why I didn't put any highlighter just 
you know, natural brows and natural colored lips. So nothing crazy. So for now, I'll try to do Twiggy. If you know Twiggy, she is a she is one of the iconic models from the 60s and she is known for uh well i asked my dad about her and just and he just replied like oh she's the model with no boobs so i don't know like i really like her eye makeup with the cut crease but i'm not sure if i can do it because my eyes are not i think i have uh folded lids like i forgot what it's called but Yes, but I will try my best to achieve that kind of look because I really wanted to achieve it. Like I've been trying for months now and I can't. So I hope this is a you know successful attempt at off. We'll just make it natural, nothing crazy around here. So okay, let's just move on with with my eyebrows so now uh, if you can remember my previous previous um video and i told you that i don't use a uh, dark or black shade for you know for eyebrows but now i do so i, I learned how to embrace my uh natural natural colored eyebrows so now i will use this in my yes naked classic queen my favorite palette of all times no i just don't have any choice because i don't really buy a lot of uh, makeup so yes nothing crazy girl nothing crazy we just wanted to make it you know look a bit natural or try my best I didn't realize it's gonna be Valentine's Day this Friday because I was waiting for payday so my boyfriend just reminded me that it's going to be Valentine's Day this Friday and he's asking me what can we do together like he's so far he's in the Netherlands right now and I'm in the Philippines so it's re it really sucks so maybe we can just go out separately you know because we do that we uh, we just have a long distance day like we, he will go to burger king in holland and i'll go to burger king here and then we'll just have dinner together like six hours apart so it's really sweet i know maybe we'll just do that but unfortunately i have work this friday so maybe we'll just do it on 15. so yes long distance relationship sucks but it's okay, like, you know, as long as you love each other, there's no problem. And I love him so much. Mm. See, it's not that crazy at all, but before, whenever I do it, I feel like it's so thick. So I'm not really into eyebrows, like, I don't really care, because I always have my bangs on. So, you know, as it grows, I will just cover it, so I don't really focus on the eyebrows. We will do the eye makeup. Put the okay. So we have um, how many shades? Fourteen shades. So I really like the colors. They're so pretty, as you can see. Um, they're named after, of course, Egyptian things like Nile, Sahara, Red Sea, Pyramid, Oasis. I used Obelisk. Did I read that right? So, obelisk for my eyes from my last video. So now, I wanted to do something a bit... I really want to do that crease, cut crease, but... I, I don't know if I can do it with my eyes, but I'll try. So, let's just go in for Sahara. This is the lightest shade. So, of course, you have to do the base. I actually wanted to do Twiggy's makeup and uh, yes, uh, according to the pictures that I saw, she has a, you know, like the eyeshadow that she has got, it's not blue, like some people from the 60s use blue color for their eyes, but for Twiggy, she just used 
white matte shade so I'm not sure if we can Mm -hmm, a lot of fallout. You know what I really hate this house because this doesn't have any natural light. You know, even if it's you know, even if it's during the day, like my bedroom is still really dark. So I have troubles with light quality as you can tell like okay so now it's time for for the crease thingy and I hope I get it right okay so I'm I'll be using this shade right here so it doesn't have any name so just the brown shade uh, it's from play to slave this apparently from Egyptian desert it doesn't have any darker shade so okay Okay, okay, I'm getting it. Does it look okay? Because I don't know, I'm not confident. I don't know, I don't know if I did it right. Did I do it well? Because, okay, I think I did blend it out with my other brush oh, please I don't want this to get ruined I'm going to use uh, papyrus 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 there okay what did I do it looks stupid on me. <laughs> oh, why? I wish I had like good. Uh, okay, what do you call those eyes? Like you know, because my eyebrows are very low. Like it should <laughs> raise up a bit. That's a failure. Is it? It doesn't suit my eyes at all so I'm so I'm so sad why can't I do it so that it won't look really bad uh, maybe if I put on some eyeliner it will it will look good use <laughs> artifacts just to or no I'll use Cairo here it's, it looks pink in the camera but as for me I'm not sure if it looks pink I'm colorblind okay it's not very pigmented I suppose or maybe the light is just fucking that up it looks so fine but I'm not really good at this I'm sorry It's like someone just punched me in the face. I'll just put on some eyeliner and this is my first, actually second time to use it. And actually it's good. It's not shiny, okay, it's um, detail, uh, detail liquid, liquid eyeliner, extra black. So it has um, thin to thick um, point. I think it's good. There. Okay. I'm done with the eyes. And no way I'm not going to put any falsies. Because it's a nightmare. So I'll just grab my curler. Alright, so now I'm gonna grab some mascara.
car right now and get my eyeliner again because I'm going to do some fake I um fake uh lashes before I forget. Um I'm gonna get the highlighter in the shade. I'm just going to light up my uh, flash line. Let me draw some fake flashes. And it doesn't draw anything. Like, why? What's going on, girl? Why? Why? Come on, bro. It doesn't draw anything. What's the deal? We'll just use this one instead. Alright, we're finally done with the fake lashes and yes, I don't know if that's good. Now we're going to do a little bit of contour. So yeah, my light is running out and it's getting dark. like a red in the camera. It's not actually red. It's probably so much. <laughs> to use this powder from I haven't used it actually, so I'm from my forehead. For the blush. Just light ones, we don't need to be crazy. Just use this Vice Cosmetics. It's not really dark, it's just right, so. Don't get too crazy. But there we go. Should I put some highlighter? Maybe I should. It's not really popular in the 60s, but. need a little highlight for my face. Thank you.